Well, I made a mistake. It includes airplane stripper. My plan was to take my S10 wheels stocks, remove the paint, remove the clear coat, and polish them. And, well, I'll tell you the effect I got. I got yellow wheels with a little bit of the clear and stuff removed and some rusting looking wheels. So now I've got to go through, sand these down, correctly apply this airplane stripper or an aircraft paint remover, whatever. And then 800, 1200, 2000 grit, wet sand, and then polish them. Just cause I want to change the way they look and make them polished. And do I regret it? Yeah, cause it's gonna take forever. So uh, let's get jumping into it. Well, I'm starting off now with what I should have been doing in the first place with, which is 180 grit. Well, this is just what I got, but setting these wheels down before I take and put the paint remover on them, which I didn't do because one, I was lazy and didn't really think it was required. And it's kind of required. And I'm tired of looking like this. See, like right here, paint's removed for the most part. We're down to aluminum. Right here, the clear's removed. I can sand that and polish that. But this and this, that's just there and I don't really like it. So I'm gonna take this sandpaper, sand this wheel down, sand that wheel down. And hopefully I'll be applying the paint remover here soon and letting that sit for however long. Maybe invest new tires because these are dry rotted. But it shouldn't take too long. I'll only be out here till five or six and it's only 10. So first wheel, sand it down. Looks a lot better. As you can see, like a little brownie. Here's the second wheel I have yet to touch. So hopefully we can make it look close to that wheel and we can apply our good old fashioned clean strip aircraft paint remover with this random top I found off a pot and this paintbrush I found also and get this paint off. Now, if this don't work, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go smoke some meth and I do that. A spray paint can will teleport to my hand and then I can spray paint these and it'll peel next week. That'll get me by this week. So hopefully I can just keep doing that until I sell the truck and I'll have at least some pretty good looking wheels for the meantime if this don't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this other wheel out and then apply this paint stripper and then run out of here like a bat out of hell so I don't like die and get intoxicated because that is some pretty potent stuff, in my opinion. I applied it outside last time and it was burning my nasal cavities pretty well. So I'm gonna get this wheel done, get the aircraft cleaner on there, let it sit for, I think it's like 40 to 45 minutes and then come back out and hopefully I can just scrape the paint off with either a wire brush or I'm gonna get a paint strip, strip or just something where I can get this paint off and just polish the wheels down or sand the wheels down and then polish them. And hopefully that'll work because I ain't got enough money for new wheels or meth at the moment. All right, I now have sanding them down, wiping them down with brake clean. Now I'm going to take this aircraft cleaner. I'm not going to apply very nicely. I'm going to apply very a lot because I think that's what I messed up in the first time was I didn't apply very much. I applied very gently for some reason. I figured out that you're not supposed to, you're supposed to apply a little more than you would think. So that should give me one wheel. I'll probably have to get some more of that, which sucks because that stuff is like stupid expensive. Not really, it's like 30, 30 bucks for a little can, but it wasn't too bad. So I don't know if you're supposed to put it on this chrome part or whatever, but I put it everywhere. Uh, disclaimer, if you don't already know, I have no idea what I'm doing. This might be an outside job. <coughs> on the wheels. And hold your breath. Face mask. Oh no. Or open the door. Possibly. Oh, did you realize that I'm not on the porch? No. Uh, I'm in a shed now. I stepped up in life. I've stepped on one porch and into a shed. Alright, let me open the door. Holy cow, I can't breathe. Alright. 
So it's already starting to bubble, looks like, which is good. I gotta step outside for a second. Let me get this other wheel done. Be right back. I run into the dollar store, but I thought y'all want to hear this 2.8 liters of Fury with a flow shorty uh, with straight pipe to flow dumped over the axle. But you want your truck sound like that? Do what I said. It's been right at 40 minutes. Let's see. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well. It's not doing much of anything. <laughs> I'll try this wire wheel I got. I tried it the other day and it kind of worked. It just took forever to do. So let's see. Is it a surprise that it's not doing much of anything? I mean, it's... It's starting to remove it. But I mean, it's just gonna take forever. Hey, up on the old Facebook Marketplace, see if there's some wheels for cheap that I can just go and purchase. And, uh, yeah. Cause this, these roofs are, wow, these wheels are ruined. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. Be honest. I thought that stuff. I have to read. I'm gonna have to read on that to see if. Well, it's right here. I don't even know if this works on cast aluminum. Do not use on aircraft. Aircraft. I, I don't even want to ask questions. Let me see. Do not strip bathtubs. Okay. Always test the product in a small space. Your whole wheel, all four of them. At all time, one time, all four of them at one time. It's aluminum. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> well, let's see if I can find some aluminum remover here, around here somewhere that ain't like $100 for, let's see, that's one quart. Oh, if I can find some 30 bucks for one quart, that'd be cool. But this is just, I mean, I can't be rolling around on these. Huh? Old men will call me dumb and young people call me stupid. I can't have that. So I'm going to do some shopping either. I'm going to try to find some wheels or something because I'm not. No, this is stupid. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to call this a fail. For one, for some reason, people want three to $400 for stocks with trash tires. I mean, I'm talking these kind of stocks right here on Facebook Marketplace. It's trash tires, which I'm not about to pay that for stocks with trash tires. So, I'm gonna have to call this a fail. Uh, my wheels are now yellow. Uh, in some parts of the paint's there, some of it's not. I did a little research. There's nothing, really. Uh, I'm gonna try to power wash them off just to try to get me by for the next couple weeks till I can afford some wheels or find some wheels, which sucks because there was actually nothing wrong with these wheels. They actually cleaned up pretty well. Uh, I'm have to get them either sandblasted or something, which I don't want to do. I'm not about to go pull some spray paint out. So, yeah, it's a fail. Surprise. Uh, don't try this. Obviously, I didn't. No, I should have tried on the little part of the wheel to begin with because, well, a little part of the wheel is not bad. All four wheels, that's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, I feel stupid, but you gotta try at least. So I tried, I failed. I won't try again. So I, either I could, I'll find some stocks around here. I'll drive to go get stocks, but I'm not paying that much for stocks. So yeah, I'm gonna roll these outside, power wash them off, show you show you how they look. Right now, this is how they look. Um, as you can see, yellow. Uh, I sprayed some cleaner on there. I got to see if I can remove some of that. Uh, it won't come off, so I'm gonna put the biggest nozzle I can on that power washer, or you know, the finest, and roll it outside, power wash them, and see what it does. For for comparison, this is the wheel that I did yes or the other day. Didn't send it down, and just you know, here's the wheels I did today. They actually got down to about where I wanted them. So now I'm going to run to the local advance, 
get some sandpaper and be right back. So I'm not one that likes to give up. So I ran to town. I got some 320,000 or 320, 800 and 2000 grit sandpaper. And I know the sandpaper will remove the, uh, the brownish yellowish look. So I'm gonna try to sand them down and I'm gonna do this one first. So I'm gonna do the wet sand 320, 800 and 2000 because they didn't have no 1200. So yeah, start with the 320, see how it looks. Go to the 800, see how it looks. And then go to the 2000, see how it looks. If it looks good enough to polish, I'll go get polished and polish these. And then I'll do all four. But right now I'm gonna do one or the rest of the three. But hopefully this works because I was thinking on the way there of, I don't really have enough money to uh, afford new wheels right now. I'm actually broke and $20 hurt to spend on sandpaper. But I decided to do this, so it's my fault. So I'm gonna try to fix these the best I can and uh, I'll, let you, I'll repeat after each process. First we'll do 320, I'll show y'all how it looks. Then I'll do the 800, show y'all how it looks. Hopefully we get some uh, good details and if it does, then I'll do all four, easy. But after pressure washing, it took a lot of it off, but not enough for me to go, yeah, this is gonna work. So I'm pretty doubtful, but we shall see. I don't wanna jinx myself too fast, but that's actually looking pretty promising. As you can see, <clears throat> that was one pass on the 320. Uh, got down to the uh, aluminum, or I guess, I hope this is an aluminum wheel. Uh, but got down to that. Uh, remind you that took about mm, 10 minutes to do. There's one, two, three, four, five of these. So that's about an hour each wheel. There's four wheels. That's about four hours. Not counting the time I got to let it sit in paint strip and all that. So yeah, as you can see, it's gonna take forever, but I think I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna do my uh, 180 grit on these, on this part because the 320 just takes too long and it's not really, I'm just removing the paint. I'm not really worried about the scratches because that'll get, I'll get them out with the 800 and 2000. So I'm gonna do this whole wheel and then show y'all how it looks. Well, this here is about after two hours of sanding. Uh, I originally started on this side with a wet sand and then I went over here to a wet sand on this side and it was just taking too long. So I did this side here with a dry sand. It took a, it went a lot faster and I did some of this, you know, I did around here. So, I mean, it's starting to look how I want it to. Uh, I'm starting to get down to that look I'm going for. So I'm just going to call the video right there. Uh, for one, I don't want this video being an hour long and two, I'm actually done for the day because I've been working on this wheel for about four hours. I started at 10 with everything, including sanding down, putting on the prime, or paint stripper and everything, but uh, it's currently about 2.30. And uh, I've been sanding away at that wheel for about two hours. And I got help coming tomorrow, hopefully. So this wheel is almost done with its first step of sanding. There's two more. There's a thousand grit, there's 800 grit and 2000 grit. And, uh, and then I polish it. So I'm not even a third of the way there, really. Uh, so I'm gonna call it right there. First off, don't hate. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I seen a post on Facebook. I'm like, them wheels look cool. I wanna do that. Lesson of the day, if you see something on the internet, they probably spent several hours either doing it or took it to someone to do it. Because there's no shot that I will get all four wheels done in just one day. For me, at least, I actually, my attention span sucks. But, yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully, in the next, I'll be polishing them and putting them back on because I'm not going to record me sanding them because that would be actually a, a very long process. I don't even care if I speed it up. It'd be an, an hour of this sped up video. So, I'm going to call it right there. My hands hurt. The wheel, it's getting there. I'll just compare it to the other wheel real quick. This here is the wheel with absolutely no sanding. That was just pressure washed with the thing. Or with the, after the paint stripper, as you can see, there's still paint. It looks horrible. Here is the rear wheel <laughs> that I didn't get. I haven't even showed the truck before. It's a 98. It's S10, uh, 4.3 automatic. It's got a new motor, uh, newer trans. But you go over here, there's a dog laying there. And this, this wheel's the worst. So hopefully in the next video, I'll be able to 
get it done, polish it, put it back on, and call it a day. And then honestly, I'll probably sell the wheels because I could probably sell them pretty decent. Hopefully. I mean, I'm going to have like probably 10 hours in the wheels. I didn't realize how long this would take. So, yeah. I'll see y'all guys in the next video.